In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a blog in Squarespace and do it the proper way. This is something that I see a lot of Squarespace users messing up is how they set up and build their blogs. So what I want to show you here is if we go over to our navigation and we click add page and we come up here we have these handful of options again and you're gonna see this blog option here so we're simply gonna click this and we're gonna create a new blog now I wanna explain something here and I'm gonna name it just blog real quick what we have just created is a blog in itself we have created a new RSS feed in a new listing of posts. You will once you do this, you only do this creation of the blog that I just showed you one time. And then after that what you're going to do is you're going to be adding posts within that blog. A big mistake that I see a lot of people making is they come over here and they add a new blog every single time they want to add a new entry. That is the incorrect way to do this. And instead you simply want to just add blog posts to the existing blog you've already created. So once we have this blog, first I'm going to drag it up here, and we're going to go over here and we're going to add a new post on the blog. So we're going to click add post, and now we have this edit post window comes up. So now I'm going to add pick buggy of the day, Arnold. And so you, that's where you put the name of your blog post. And then right down here, you're going to notice you have all of the exact same features. You have your text box, your images, options, and you can simply add a block anywhere you want in here. So I can click this plus icon. And again, we have all these same options as we had before. I'm going to add an image for this. So we're going to click add an image. Give it a second. So it seems to be having a little glitch, uh, which happens from time to time. Again, I could re-record this video and pretend to you that Squarespace is perfect and you will never run into glitches, or I can show you, take this opportunity to show you how to work around it. So for some reason or another, this didn't work, and we have this big open space here with nothing in it. What I'm going to do here is simply just click this box, and now I'm going to drag it into this little trash can down here. And you can do this with any block, whether it's a text block, a video, or an image, and you can just go ahead and delete that block. So we're going to try this again. We're going to click the plus icon. We're going to click on image, and there we go. Now the proper image popped up. So I'm going to simply go here to upload and we're going to choose the picture that we wanted to upload and give that a second to upload and it'll take a bit to process and resize also take out this point to or take this moment to point out that when you're doing websites you always want to try to compress your images or make them uh, a decent size before you upload them and it makes it much easier on Squarespace and much easier on the end user of your website as well who's maybe looking at that on a mobile phone or a very slow internet connection. So always try to compress your images whenever possible before uploading. So there we go, we have the picture now uploaded to Squarespace. Again, I can change this name to arnold.jpg and I can click make it link to something if I want to but I don't really need to do that so I'm gonna click save and now I have the title of this blog post and I really just have a picture as my blog post entry and that's all I really want for this this is essentially a photo blog that I'm creating so that's fine but if I wanted to I could come up here click this little plus add a text box and say now this is a photo of Arnold, a vintage VW in Mexico. And 
you can simply, you know, like I said, just with like you lay out a page with a blog post, you can do all the same things where we could move this content around, drag and drop it, put it above the above this text, below the text, to the right of the text. You have all the same features that I showed you in the previous video on layout. You can do that with a blog post as well. Now the next things I want to show you is how to go through and actually set the rest of your options for your blog post. One thing you want to do is come down here and you want to add your categories and your tags. Think of categories as your bigger picture themes of all the posts on your site. So maybe you have tutorials, you have train or uh, education, you have inspiration, uh, different categories that may be on your site. A food blogger may have you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and desserts. Uh, so categories are kind of the overall themes that your your um, blog posts sit within. So this one, I'm just going to say a pick buggy. Um, and this is essentially just a pick buggy post. Pick buggy, essentially this whole site that I'm creating is a showcase for um, a collection of vintage VW cars that I've taken over the course of my travels. But now within that, we also have these options for tags. And tags can be used in a lot of ways, but the main way that a lot of people use them is for SEO data, for search engine optimization. So if you're wanting to try to optimize your blog posts for Google, tags are a great place to do this. So I might do um, tags such as Volkswagen. And I hit comma anytime I want to add a new one. Volkswagen photos. Uh, VW bug and I can just fill this up with a bunch of tags that are focused around the content of this blog post so that is how you do categories and tags and there's some other uses and features of this which is kind of more of an advanced functionality but if you have a lot of content on your site you can also use these categories and tags to organize and showcase your content in different ways around the site I'm not going to get into that too much right now but if you check back in a month or two, I'm going to have an advanced course up. And there I'm going to go into much more detail on how to handle this. Now if I go up to options, I always want to do this as well before launching the blog post. So if I come up here to this where it says item, options, location, and social, I'm going to click on this options tab. And here you see a handful of other options. The first thing you're going to notice is this big space for a thumbnail image. And this is something you always want to upload because if you embed your post anywhere like Facebook, Twitter, um, Tumblr, anywhere, you want to have a thumbnail photo because then it's going to actually show up as visual content and not just a text link. So I'm going to take that same picture and I'm going to upload it again for the thumbnail image. Then down here in this excerpt, this would be if you want to have uh, description along with this. And so I might say pick buggy of the day Arnold. And so if you have a blog post maybe you put your first two sentences here in this excerpt um, and you have that kind of option there as well. Uh, the excerpt also does change the layout of your blog. Uh, if, so when you're building a new blog try using the excerpt and then not using the excerpt and what you'll notice is on the blog page that um, if you do an excerpt, what it'll do is kind of truncate your blog post and give you a read more option. If you don't do the or if you don't do the excerpt, then it'll actually display the full post for you. Um, so in this case, I'll leave the excerpt on now, and I will explain that a little further later. The other things you have are the options for location, which again, if you have a location with the blog post, you can add that and then social which if you have connected social media accounts you can have Squarespace automatically publish this blog post to the social media accounts for you. So we've gone through all the options now what we're gonna do is simply come down here and click Save and Publish. And here we go we have created our very first blog post entry and so anytime I'm here I can click on this and I can go back and edit that post at a later date, change anything there. And then if I want to add a new pick buggy picture for tomorrow, 
instead of going over here and adding a new blog as a page, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to add a new post to the blog. Simply add a pick buggy of the day, Bella. Ooh. And then I'm going to come here and add an image. And we're going to add the image. Upload this image and essentially go through and do all those same features and publish another blog post. And the reason that we're doing this is this way is because we're creating a new blog post within this overall blog feed and we're not now going and creating a whole nother blog feed. Simply click Save, I'll go down here, pick my categories, I can go here and add my tags if I want to for this one. I'm going to go to my options. I'll say pick buggy of the day, Bella. And then up here, I'm going to go and upload the thumbnail photo again. So again, really quickly, I just went through and did this whole kind of second um, blog post for you. And when I hit save and publish, you now see that I have two blog posts all within the same blog. And that is the proper way to go through and set up a blog on Squarespace.